So in this video, I'm going to talk about nucleophiles and electrophiles. And so a lot of organic chemistry, so most of organic chemistry just comes down to nucleophile attacking the electrophile and so the nucleophile is a Lewis base while the electrophile is a Lewis acid. And so let's talk about what they are more specifically and define them. And so an electrophile is something that's electron deficient. So something with a positive charge or a partial positive charge. For example, BF3 the boron here will be the electrophile um, another example is a carbocation so C, CH3 H3, C, CH3 with a positive formal charge and so this, the carbon right here, will be the electrophile. So I'll circle that in red. And then let's do one more. How about carbon, double bond, oxygen to... And so here, the carbon, once again, would be the electrophile electrophile. So essentially anything that is electron deficient um, is going to be an electrophile. It's generally an atom that you talk about that's going to be the electrophile more specifically, but a molecule can act like this whole thing can be referred to as an electrophile, but if you're talking more specifically it would be the carbon. And so some generalizations is an electrophile is generally an atom that has less than an octet, such as that carbocation, or an atom that's on the positive, partial positive end of a polar bond, such as this carbocation. I mean, such as this carbon right there. So the oxygen here is partially negative, and that's the delta plus delta negative. And so that's essentially what an electrophile is. Now let's talk about a nucleophile. So a nucleophile is the opposite. A nucleophile is electron rich. And so it would be a Lewis base. And so if you get this mixed up, a good way to think about it is file means to like. An electrophile likes to have electrons, so it's electron deficient. A nucleophile likes to have a nucleus, like more nucleuses, so it's electron rich. It likes to gain positive charge. So electron rich, which means it's negative. Um, so some examples. Um, OH minus F minus um, H2O and NH3 and so once again I'll circle the electrophile I'll do it in blue the oxygen is the electrophile here is only the fluorine, here the oxygen, nitrogen. Essentially, 
A good way to think of it is if you see a lone pair, it'll generally be an electrophile, or it generally can be an electrophile, or it's on the negative end of a polar bond. And so here you have oxygen, three lone pairs, this oxygen has two lone pairs, this fluorine has four lone pairs, and this nitrogen has one lone pair. And so and a nucleophile always attacks an electrophile, so let's just give an example of one mechanism that can happen. So for example, we saw the BF3. The boron was a good nucleophile. I mean electrophile, sorry. And then the NH3 is a good nucleophile. And so what happens is the nucleophile attacks the electrophile and so you have to draw it from the electrons going to the um, electrophile, so the electron deficient atom. And then this then forms something like this. with a positive on nitrogen and a negative on boron. And we'll talk more about types of reactions in later videos.